Uh, Shock Monkey Radio is created by adults for adults for entertainment purposes. The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect the sponsors or FXPG Public Radio. For additional information, refer to the U.S. Bill of Rights. Stand warned. Anyway, we had a little bit of technical difficulties uh, at the beginning of the show. And um, so I'm going to try to get through these topics as much as I can. Because I actually wrote a lot this week. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about anger management in the times of coronavirus and riots. Now, I don't know about you, but I have been angry the last couple of weeks. And I'm willing to bet that you have too. I've been so angry that I did this to my head. Okay? So... Here's the thing when it comes to anger management in the times of coronavirus and the riots. You have to ask yourself, what is making me angry? Is it the news? Is it social media? Is it the fact that people are misinformed assholes? And I say, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And so when it comes to the news, uh, you don't have to read it. You don't. I know it's stuffed down your throat in the information age. It's like every time you log on to social media and so forth, everyone's posting these news, art, news articles. And it's all kind of designed to make you angry. All of the, the, the journalism in many ways is designed to make you angry. And I find that even conservative uh, uh, people are falling into this trap. It's like, we got bad news for you. Aren't you pissed? Be sure to share. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Because that's how news organizations get money these days is by clicks. They, they don't sell ads in actual newspapers anymore. They sell, sell ads on websites. And so when you share an article and somebody else clicks on it because they some genius over at the New York Times wrote a, uh, a clickbait title, clickbait headline, you know, that drives traffic to their website. Hell, EK and I are talking about how to drive traffic to our website. And it's like, well, controversial statements. Stuff that pisses people off. That'll drive traffic to your website, and that's what gets you advertised, and that's what makes you money. So you don't, you don't have to read the news. In fact, you don't even have to read social media at all. I mean, especially if you're getting angry at it. If the things that are in it make you angry, and they raise your blood pressure and stuff, you should not be doing it. Now, it doesn't matter where you stand in the political aisle. I think we could all use to step, uh, use the, uh, a, 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 a second to step back away from social media and away from the 24 hour news cycle, you know, read some, read a book, read something else. You know, you don't have to be disengaged in news and politics all the time. When I was a kid in the nineties, you know, eighties and nineties, nobody really talked about politics. Now you can't even go on Tinder without say, without seeing a bunch of, bunch of chicks saying Trump supporters swipe left. Which is, the, if you like them, you swipe right. Okay, so Trump supporters swipe left. Why is politics in your initial meeting of somebody? You don't talk politics to like the third date, maybe. So the fact is, is that maybe you should stop. Maybe you should stop reading the news, being so involved in the news. Back in the day, you know, people would get the news once a week. People, like people who would read the paper, uh, there were people who read the paper daily, and then there were people who only got the Sunday paper, so they'd catch up on what, what happened in the week and the Sunday paper in many ways is like all the news of the week, but it's different now. There's a 24 hour news cycle. Every single morning we can get up and read the news and it's necessarily not, it's not necessarily healthy for everybody. So here's a few anger management techniques that I've learned over the years that have helped me control my anger because you cannot uh, threaten your chief petty officer when you're in the Navy um, without ending up in an anger management class. That's something I found out through trial and error. So I'm going to pass on this information to you the, through the miracle of writing, internet, literature. So um, deep breathing is always good. You know, just in through nose, out through mouth, like, Dan, like Daniel-san does. You know, wax it on and wax it off, you know. Breathing is a core in, in many things, to anything, like physical activity, breathing is a core in many, to a prayer or meditation and so forth, and that's good for you. It's like you start feeling freaked out, breathe, calm down, St. Paul seems to be okay. You know, you can, deep breathing can have a lot of good effects on you. Exercise is also good. Um, uh, I, when it comes to me, I always recommend highway screaming. 
Now, if you are just really all amped up and so forth, I would suggest getting in your car, rolling up all your windows. I know it's hot out there, so crank that AC and get on the highway where you're going 65, 70 miles an hour. And once the hum of the road is so loud that nobody in the car near you can hear you, just scream your head off. Scream so loud that it hurts your ears. It hurts your throat. Get it out of your system. I've found that that is a, like a pressure valve for me. You know, you don't want to do it when you're stopped at a red light downtown, okay? Just with your windows down and no, no, no radio on. Just, ah! You might get a cop looking at you funny or <laughs> something like that. You don't want to do that downtown. That's why I recommend going on the highway to do it. Um, I also like beating the shit out of my bed, just punching it, punching the crap out of my bed. Um, some could say that that's not a healthy way to express your anger or frustration. Um, but I found that, you know, that's a, a real release because I can, man like, every single time I punch the bed, another face flashes in my mind. And, you know, it makes me feel better. And, I mean, uh, I even went to the point where, uh, where I'd, like, shoot targets. Go to the gun range and shoot targets and pitch your faces on there, too. Probably not the healthiest thing to do, but I found that that works for me. I mean, I'm lucky that I've been able to find medication that uh, has helped me, you know, uh, uh, deal with my anger better has made my depression more manageable. I'm lucky in that regard. And if I feel weird going by the moniker madman uh, in, in an era where I feel like I'm the sanest person in town, the sanest person in America, because I'm not, I don't, I don't feel the need to freak out about anything. Let the wheels of justice turn. It's not as fast as the 24 hour news cycle. Yeah. Uh, deep breathing, highway screaming, Punching the bed, uh, blaming God. This is, um, I like doing this one because God can handle your anger and God is bigger than you and he could smite you, you know, at any second. I don't, I, you're probably not religious. I am. And I believe in God. And so I like to blame God. I like to, you know, get on the highway and start screaming. And it's like, why did you create us? You know, and make us make so many of us evil, you know, or seemingly evil, you know, why can't you just intervene? Why can't you just make things better? You know, and the only thing we can come to understand is that, you know, I, I just put it on God. It's like, you made this mess. Put all that stress is like, you made this mess. That's not my responsibility. That's your responsibility. And you try, try to get through your life. That's helped me in some ways. But because uh, God, I mean, you know, he could just strike you down if he wanted to, if he really took it that personally. But, you know, I, I imagine, you know, God up there in heaven is like, hey, Jesus, how many how many prayers we got today? It's like, oh, over 18 billion. Uh, just reply all. Go fuck yourself, whiny little bitches. And so that's <laughs> that's how I think uh, God would, would look at us because we don't understand his plan. And we don't understand where all of this, uh, everything that's going on today in our culture and our lives, how that fits into God's plan. So that's the tricky part. I just say, blame him. It's his fault. <laughs> and uh, you can go about your life and go to my, what I call the third stage, enhance your mellow. Chill out. Be more chill. Mind your own business. Don't get involved in other people's affairs. You know, don't feel the need to go out there and uh, like point out, look, there's a witch. Let's burn her. Except, I mean, I mean, look, there's a racist. Let's burn them on social media. You know, I mean, that's exactly where the phrase witch hunt comes from. Is from the insane stuff that happened in Europe and in the uh, United States. Uh, what, turn of the 17th century? 18th century? I can't remember when exactly. 1620s, I want to say. I might be wrong. But the, the term witch hunt is, is a, was a religious fervor that passed through these, these uh, Christian communities where they said, you know, oh, it says here in the Bible, it can't suffer a witch to live, you know, you know all that other stuff. It's like, well, if God says witches are real, that means evil magic is real. And that means we got to find the witches. <clears throat> and so they go out there and they start looking for witches to burn, except in this day and age, it's racist. You know, we got to find a, a racist to dox on social media. That's the new religious fervor. And that's what this is. That's what this is. This is a religious movement. In a lot of people, you have, you have, uh, you have disavowed religion. A lot of these people have disavowed religion, do not believe in a God or a higher power. And so the religion has become the religion of the social justice warrior. Step in line or we'll burn you on social media. 
but enhance your mellow. You got to let all this stuff go. I know it's all swimming in my head and it can't even get out of my own, uh, what's the word? Out of my own lexicon, in my own monologue here. I can't even get out of it. But I feel like I deal with it better. I don't let it like uh, pump the heart so much. I don't let it, you know, let my veins get all hypertensed. You know, got to keep that blood pressure down. Enhance your mellow. Mind your own business. And do something crazy with your hair. Punch your bed. Scream on the highway. Blame God. Chill. Goose frabber.